Good morning and happy Saturday. I want to take a second to wish all you moms out there a happy early Mother's Day. I hope tomorrow that you feel loved beyond measure. Today I just want to take a couple moments to talk to you about Proverbs 31 28. It says, Her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. I think we've all read um, this multiple times, and as women, we strive to be the Proverbs 31 woman. Uh, her children are um, saying what an amazing job she's done and, and how, how great she is, and her husband's acknowledging this as well. He's saying, um, out of everyone else, you, you're the best. You're doing the best job at, at being a mom and raising children. Um, as I was reading this week in one of the commentaries, I was reminded that at this time, there were no schools. Uh, it was a mom's job solely to teach the children. The father was working, and so um, she was at home, and her job was to teach them the way of the land, uh, about business, and mainly about the law of God. Crazy how right now we find ourselves in the same situation. We're in unprecedented times, and right now we're at home with all of our littles, or one of our littles, I'm not sure. <laughs> For me, it's eight of our littles. And um, I'm solely responsible for teaching them. We're teaching them everything right now, you know, not just textbook stuff, but uh, about life and about um, stress and um, anxiety and hope and joy and math and, and shapes and colors and pretty much everything. Um, but it's a, it was a neat reminder that God's given us a gift right now we're able to do what public schools can't. And I don't know about everyone else, but our children go to public schools. And so with that, they don't learn about God. God's not infused in um, their daily routine at school. Um, they learn about textbook stuff. And um, some of it we agree with, some of it we don't, you know. But for the most part, I think it's, it's very um, academic and lacks in faith. And so right now, we're able to add that in. I'm able to with everything, um, remind them God's hand in that. And do not get me wrong, I am not saying by any means that this has been all rainbows and magic and sparkles because um, lots of days I'm stressed and I'm tired and it's a lot of work, uh, a lot of work to raise little people. But at the same time, what an amazing experience they're getting right now because at the various stages of our kids' lives right now, they're not just sitting in a classroom, reading from a book, learning from one person, but they're experiencing things in a whole different way. And I know for teachers right now, it is extremely difficult, especially if you have um, little ones also, because it makes it so much harder because you're devoting so much of your time trying to teach our little ones and then um, also your own. But take the time to be able to pour into them what God's given you right now in your heart. And and some, some days it's a lot, and some days it's, it's a little bit, but every day it's enough. And I was just so thankful that God reminded me right now, even though so many people are so concerned about the social distancing and getting back to normal, um, I, I've got all my kids here with me every single day, and I am able to love on them in a way that their teachers can't. And so I am reminded to be thankful and grateful for that, especially um, with Mother's Day coming up. Um, reminded of what a privilege it is that God's allowed me to be their mom and how um, blessed I am. So I hope that um, that gives you a little bit of encouragement today, and I hope that the rest of your day is amazing. Um, I will hopefully see all of you guys very, very soon. Have a great day.